Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I am going to just be talking about a couple of the books that I read and then the books that I am reading and the first one I'm going to talk about is uh, Witch Snapped in Western... was it? Westerham? Yeah. Witch Snapped in Westerham by um, I think it's Di Diana. Di I don't know how you say that exactly. It looks like um, Diana, but it's got an O. So Diana uh, Lister. And this is the first in a cozy mystery series. And it is about this uh, girl here. She turned 24 and finds out she's a witch. And um, she also finds out that her brother's been kidnapped. And she has to move from Australia to... England to help them figure out what happened and she finds out that her uh, witchy power is whenever she looks through a camera she can see the past and um, the present and things like she she can see things that are going to happen like she was taking a picture at a wedding and this old guy was um, see-through but whenever she would look at him without her camera he looked fine and then she finds out later that he actually died. So she uh, kind of predicted with her camera that he was going to be dying soon. But she can also go to like a scene. Like she uh, went to the scene of the crime and she could take pictures and she could see what exactly happened and who was there. So it's going to be a really good um, witchy uh, deal that she has whenever the uh, paranormal investigator... Investigation Bureau is probably going to want to use her on occasion to help them out. And at first she becomes a suspect, but that's because somebody was trying to set her up, her and her sister-in-law and everything. It didn't have any murder in it. This one was just strictly a mystery based on a missing person, which was just fine. It doesn't always have to be a murder to make a good mystery. And I thought this one was a pretty decent start to a series. It had to kind of lay out a bit about the witchy stuff and everything so it kind of made it not like great but I still enjoyed it and I'd probably give it like three stars and then I also finished a graphic novel arc that I had and this is The Okay Witch by uh, Emma Steinkellner and um, this one was really cute I wasn't a huge fan of the art style um, I Especially like the eyebrows and things on the uh, mother for some reason. It just did not work for me. It looked like made it look like she had four eyes instead of two. And I don't know what she was thinking. I know it was supposed to be, I believe, bushy eyebrows. But I don't know. Let me see if I can find one that kind of... Yeah, like... Um, I don't know if you can see it. But right there, it... The eyebrows, I just didn't like them. They were weird. But other than that, I mean, it was a cute story. It's about this girl who, she loves all things witches. And she even was dressing up at the beginning as a witch for Halloween. And her mother wants to know why she chose to dress up as a witch. And she said she, because she, you know, pretty much, duh, mom, do you not know me? She loves everything witches. And uh, whenever she goes to school, some weird thing starts happening and that's where she finds out that uh, she is an actual witch. And she comes from a long line of witches. And uh, her mother doesn't want anything to do with witches. That's why she's never told her anything about it. So it's kind of like a coming of age story about this young girl who she really wants to embrace being a witch. And her mother doesn't want her to have anything to do with it. And can she find a balance between, you know, her powers and being kind of normal or whatever. And it was really cute. I liked it. Um, it was one that had, like, some colored art in the beginning. But since it wasn't finished, the rest of it was in black and white, which was kind of interesting. I've never um, had an arc before of a graphic novel, so that was cool. And yeah, I really liked that one. I would probably give it probably about 3.5 stars. And then I have started reading. Let's see. Okay, so I've started um, Inside the Asylum, or Asylum, I guess you'd say it, um, by Mary San Giovanni. This is number three in the Kathy Ryan series. She's an occult specialist, 
and she's being brought into a um, a hospital for I'm guessing like the criminally insane that's got uh, killers and mass murderers and things like that there and but there's some strange things going on and so that's why she's being brought in at the beginning you know that something weird is going on because there's this guy Henry who evidently when he sleeps these weird creepy things come out and this one lady she uh, said she was gonna tell the doctors about it and then she ends up dead and Henry knows that it was the things they didn't want her to tell. And so I don't know exactly what in the world's going to happen or what exactly is going on. Um, I'm only about 6% in, so I don't really know a lot about it. But I have liked all of the Kathy Ryan novels so far. And so I'm excited to see what happens with this one. I am also... Uh, participating in a read-along and the ones that are doing it is uh, they're reading Hex by Thomas is it Oldie I don't know how you say his last name uh Hoovelt Hoovelt anyway it's Dutch uh this was a trans a translation from the Dutch version and um we are getting to know we have a Dutch person in our read-along and so she's been telling us what the differences are because evidently there's a lot of differences one of the main ones is this is set in the United States, but it's a Dutch book, and in the original, it's set in, in Dutch, in the Netherlands, or whatever, and so that was kind of weird that they changed the actual setting, and some, you know, of course, the names and things are different. We've got English names instead of Dutch names, and so it's been really interesting learning, you know, what the differences are, and we've uh, discussed the first uh, eight chapters so far, which it was really interesting. I didn't know you could um, talk so much about eight chapters, but we were... Uh, talking on Instagram chat for like an hour and a half I think it was it was really interesting there's um oh I would there's should be more but I think right now the only ones in that have come into the chat were about maybe 10 people if that but it was still pretty interesting um I believe her name's Alex from Hey Little Thrifter she it was her and uh, her friend that has an Instagram account are the ones that are hosting it. I don't remember what her friend's name was, but um, I'm really liking it so far. It's kind of strange. It's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's about a witch, but I guess because I thought it was about a witch, I was thinking it was more of a historical instead of present day. But it is kind of interesting the things that they are doing with the witch that is different than books I've read about witches. So I really like that. It's about this town in Black Springs and... Um, they don't like people coming into their town. They like to kind of keep it just with the people that's there because they have the witch that's there. And the witch just kind of pops up every now and then. Everybody's used to it. They have a thing called the Hex app, which they document if you see the app or, or the app. If you see the witch, you can get on the app and tell them this is where you saw the witch and everything. And I something's going to happen because there's the teenagers. They're tired of being stuck in the town. They want to be able to tell other people about what's going on and just to be able to bring people in and out and stuff instead of being just stuck here in the town and I have a feeling they're going to do something and the witch is not going to like it or something's going to happen and I'm curious to see what's going to happen. I'm also listening to an audiobook called In Her Skin by Alex... by Alex Kistler I think is how you say it maybe. I'm probably butchering the last name. Anyway, it's an Audible's original that I got for review, and it's about three different women, and so you get the POV of each woman, and Maggie is a debut author, but she's got really bad anxiety, and she doesn't want to do book tours and things like that, and so she hires Sloane, who is an actress, to uh, pretend to be her, and then there's also Rachel, who is a detective, who is trying to figure out what happened to Sloane. So, evidently, after she starts becoming Meg, something happens, and I'm not sure what yet. I've got, um, probably about four, uh, no, about three and a half hours left, so I'm kind of curious to ha see what happened to Salone. Um, she is kind of getting into the part of Meg a little bit too much, maybe, and I don't know if something happens, if... She is uh, actually pretending to be Meg when she's alone, or what happens? I don't know, but I'm curious to see what happens. And then after I get done with those, I would like to uh, start the Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill. I had started this several years ago, and I don't know why I quit. I didn't even get very far, probably maybe like 25, 30 pages, and I just set it aside, and then I never got to it. So I'm going to get back into this one. 
Um, this is one that my friend picked out for me. She thought I would like. I do have the audio on Hoopla, so I might do a little listen and read. And all I know about this is it's about a ghost that I think this guy brings home when he, because he collects um, weird objects and he gets this um, box or something and he ends up with a ghost. And that's pretty much all I know. And I'm fine with that. I don't need to know a whole lot. And I hope it's good. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think a lot of people like this one. And so fingers crossed that it's a good one. And that is all that I have uh, finished and that I'm currently reading and what I'm going to read. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you know when I put things up because I am a little sporadic. I don't have a set time. I just when I'm in the mood to make a video I make one. So see you next time. Bye.